People ask how to use the Cat Dancer original, so I'm going to show you. This is the, we'll call this the small end, and this down here is, we'll call it the large or flicker end. What you do is you hold on to the small end with your fingers, like so. So let me just try, yep, so hold it like that, and then with your thumb, and then all you're doing is you're literally holding it. As you can see, it starts to swing around and you can just flick it between your fingers like that and the wire will help it to flick around. And you can either move it a lot by, you know, waving your hand around like that or you can just hold onto it and move it just a, a hair. It'll still bounce up and down because of the way that the um, wire is shaped. My cat is obviously really spoilt and not always that interested in toys. But that's it. It's a really simple toy, but it really does amazing things. That's it. So you hold it between, whoop. So that's the bit you hold, and that's the bit that gets flicked around down there. I hope that helps. I'm gonna have a bit of a play now with, with Gemma. Gemma loves it, obviously. She's enjoying it now. I've actually got, I'm really lazy, so I've got the cat dancer with the wall, the wall component, and I'll show you that in a sec. So this is the cat dancer wall attachment. So you've got your 3M hooks that go onto the, um, this panel that go onto the wall, and then you've got this component, and all you do then is slide that on, and that's it. And so now, that just hangs there, and when my cats walk past, they just flick it. My cats are pretty lazy though. Sometimes my dog flicks it, but that's pretty much it.